Hello. Hello, 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 hello. Hello. Welcome. We're back. We're back. Welcome to the replay if you're watching the replay. Welcome you replayers. We are back. Thanks. How Thanks. is everyone? Thanks for doing this. Let us know you're out there. Just say, hey, we're here. Or say, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here too. Are you here? <laughs> Let us know. Let's see who will be number one. Who's who's number one? You, we have a couple of people that are usually the first ones on. Yeah. Let's see if it's somebody different today. We don't know. So hope everyone is good. We yeah. have not been live in almost two weeks. No, it no, we can have. not log about. We can and have Beth Harlow is in El Texas with Beth and Hi, we did our tour tours there and mm -hmm. we. Uh, what else did we do? We went to Six Flags. Six Flags. We saw a drag show. We, we saw did. a drag show. We went to the zoo at Fort Worth. Oh, yeah. We good. saw a baby yeah. elephant and yeah. baby giraffe. Aloha, Janet. It was good. That's a good one. And then we got back and we put our candy Hi, no Janet. longer in um, vacation mode. So we are now live. Facebook's having issues. I don't see any Facebook comments. Uh, not yet. No Facebook yet. If you're from Facebook, say hi, please. I'll go see if it's... We'll make sure it's actually going. going. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes it has... It. Sometimes we have problems with... And sometimes we have another one. Tanya, I love your picture thing. I love that. Ooh, it's sitting too far off to the side. It should be over there. Maybe if I do this. Oh, it went away. Uh, anyway. Hi, Leslie. We saw Leslie in Dallas. Yes, we did. And we saw okay, Melissa. It be good. Yeah, Leslie just popped up and said hello. Yay. Thanks, Leslie. You're the first in Facebook to say hello. All right. Remember these guys? Yes. It's so, it's so cute. Okay. So Adina if you guys. And Melissa, hello. Oh, sorry. We saw Melissa, too. Yes. In, in, uh, yes. Uh, it was so great to see you, too. Yes. If you guys are new, we're going to quickly go over some stuff, and then we're going to show you, <clears throat> talk about what's coming up this Friday, yeah. and some goodies, make a shirt. So excited. So if you are new, uh, we are with Chalk Tour. It's mm -hmm. a DIY company that makes beautiful things from start to finish super easy we have silk screens paste ink and um reusable silk screens which is yeah. awesome so we have made it convenient for you to learn everything about chalk tour you can use our links which is links l-i-i-n-k-s dot yeah. co slash c-c-k-k mm -hmm. that's going to take you to our link landing page yeah. and the link landing oh hello hello little girl you can it's not ball Your time right now poor little toe it's not ball time right now it it is t it we are live and that you have to go over there tt sierra can you get down oh good girl thank you <laughs> so when you <laughs> go to our link landing page it's going to take you to our can you bring that up sean um wait one second sorry There it is, and now we can go to here and then here. And then I'll let you drive, do the driver's okay. seat because you know where you're going. You so go. this is our link landing page. It should take you here, which is um, all of the things you need. So up top, you have a link to our Etsy store. Uh, obviously, let's go ahead and close out a lot of these. We don't need all these open. Um, obviously it takes you to our Etsy store. This is where you can find all of our freeze dried candy, our digital files, our UV prints, uh, wood cutouts, all of that can be found there. Sale is of course, anything that's on sale at Chalk Tour that I'm telling you get now before it is gone. I've broken it down into the 70, uh, percent all the way down to 50. Um, any exciting news, our color of the month, creative kickstart. This is all of your monthly news um about what's going on in june of course we have links from our live so anything that i am doing today if you click on it it's going to bring up all of the links so today we're doing um a lot of stuff with inks that one is not updated so i'll update that here in a second um i wonder why that didn't update oh. well we'll that just have to update that yes um and then of course uh Everything else you need to know. So what is Chalk Tour? The best way to experience it. Shopping our products. Joining as a designer. And of course, joining as a club member. This gives you a one-stop shop 
for everything that you need. Um, and we oft often get a question about what is the best way to join? Um, so obviously right now, I'm always going to say the best way is to become a designer just because right now it is an amazing starter kit. You're going to get $320 worth of product for $59. Yeah, really good. It's amazing. Um, but you can always start as a club couture member, all of the jazz. Uh, so it's pretty cool. Don't forget. We do still have a color of the month. Ooh, yeah. This is, uh, basically if you spend $75 as a customer on our truck site, you have the opportunity to buy three of these at our pro pace price. And when these uh, sell out, they are gone. Yes. All right. So uh, if you have any questions during the live, let us know. But that link landing page will give you all of your answers or down in the description. Um, now, normally we would be actually getting ready to travel once again. In fact, the reason we were in Dallas is because we went to a couture tours mm -hmm. because we found out this year our Chalk Con, which is usually our yearly event where everyone from Chalk Couture gathers and we celebrate and have a party and find out about new products and we have an award ceremony. We found out this year it's going to be virtually. Um, so virtual is going to be this Friday and Saturday. And since we are not going in person, which is never the same because I love being there in person and hugging and getting to know people. Um, we decided to go to Dallas. Yeah. So, but because it is virtual, they've already sent us our goodies. Now, normally we don't get these until uh, ChalkCon and then usually I do an unboxing and stuff, but I'm gonna go and show you kind of what we got today. Give you a little bit of an idea of what's gonna be happening on Friday and Saturday. You definitely want to keep your ears peeled because uh, this is where we announce our big catalog release. Uh, so this will go live for designers. If you uh, spent 100 PV in the month of June, by June 30th, I believe, or yep. 29th, right? 30th. At 30th. Mm -hmm. um, you can pre-order and then July 11th for customers is when it goes yes. live. I'm super excited. So let's show you what we got in our little goodie bag here. So... I bought some of these things, but the first thing I bought was a tumbler. Look at that. Catch so the that. theme this year is Catch the Wave, ChotCon 2023. Mm -hmm. Very fun. Um, so I got this, and I also opted to purchase this. They always have some sort of hoodie. They usually are zip-up hoodies, but this year it's just a pullover. It's a beautiful teal tied. It says Chalk Tour on the arm. And I have all the hoodies. We have tons of them. We wear them down here when we get nice and cold. And then uh, this year they had this pink sweatshirt that just said chalk. And I actually like it. I love, I like the color pink. So we will definitely either give this away or be wearing it. Um, at first I was like, eh, I don't think I'm going to get a pink one. But it's actually really soft and really nice. They also gave us a t-shirt this year to where we can decorate our own uh, shirt for ChalkCon. So we're gonna be doing that today using this. We always get an exclusive transfer for the theme of ChalkCon. So this year it's called Couch the Wave with the wave. So we're gonna be using that. And we always get a little um, A size transfer. This one says Brave, Free, and Wild as the Sea with a little bit of waves. Very cute. Very. Now, normally we get an exclusive paste color, but this year they didn't do that because we have color of the month. So in July, we should see the color of the month that will probably match with our uh, themes. But they did give us three ink singles in orange peel, bumblebee, and couture teal, so you can make your shirt. And then we got couture coral, lake shell, and colonial blue, so you can make a board using our exclusive transfers. Now, as a leader, if you are a leader, this year they gave us an exclusive uh, uh, chalkable shape to match our catch the wave. So it says, leaders like surfers on the crest ride waves of creativity, giving their best. With box frames and boards, they dare to explore unleashing ideas like waves on the shore, harnessing the current of imagination's flow. They lead with their heart, making ripples grow. So that's kind of fun. Mm -hmm. We also got a pen, which I already have in my desk. It's a cute orange pen. A journal, so we can make a little journal to go with our pen. Um, then we also got a little note that just says, Surf up, friend. 
The truck on wave is fast approaching. Are you ready to catch it? Join us beginning at 10 a.m. on Friday, June 23rd. Grab your Catch the Wave shirt and get ready to hang 10. That's Surfer Talk, so get used to it because there's more of that where that came from. Don't forget to share your ChalkCon fun on social media. And they let you know if you are an award winner. So I won an award. So this is one of my favorite parts of uh, ChalkCon is not only getting the ribbons myself, but also seeing everyone else that got ribbons and celebrating with them mm -hmm. if they hit achievements. So we always get our title at the top. Um, this year, I'm going to be recognized as a sponsoring legend, which is super cool. Yeah, it is. Uh, essentially, that is if you have sponsored more than a thousand people since you've been with uh, Chalk, you are now a sponsoring legend, and they take you out of the general category so other people can win those awards. Um, so I, that's probably why I'm getting an award, and I might get other awards. I don't know. This just means that I've earned 500000 or more since being with Chalk, which is awesome. 500,000 lifetime seller, uh, been with the company more than five years, have 30 more Club Couture subscribers, I'm a social circle, savvy seller, perfect year, lots of love live maker, and lots of love impact trip earner. Yes. And then normally we always have a lot more because people on teams give us their ribbons like and Mandy's all that stuff. and Brenda's and, and a few Normally I'd have Mandy, Brenda's, ours, all yeah. that stuff. So, yeah. But it's still fun. I love the ribbons. I have all of them from every chalk on. So I'm super excited, but tonight I thought it would be fun. I haven't done a shirt project in a long time, so I figured I might as well make our chalk on shirt. So they sent us this. I love it. What do they call these ringer tees, I think? Uh, baseball shirts. Yeah. Ringer tees, baseball, something like that. And so um, I am going to do ink using our cool logo here. I'm going to show you the colors. Now, I did make some custom colors. Um, to match kind of the color I'm going for, but uh, the colors I used, let me grab all the colors here. Um, so I am using, and then I mix some to get certain colors, which I'll tell you that here in a second. So I'm using papaya, orange peel, bumblebee, couture teal, meadow, cadet, and ocean mist. But I kind of wanted to go with more of a beachy vibe. So I did mix some colors here. And I did this color to match the ringer of the tea. Mm, pretty good. Yeah. So this literally, um, and I might actually make it a little darker. So before I get too far, make sure if you're using ink to have some baby wipes nearby. Just because ink is permanent. Mm -hmm. Now here's the nice thing about our ink and paste is it is totally mixable so you can absolutely mix these colors together to get to a color um, that you want so i started with bumblebee and i'm just adding orange peel and that's going to give it more of that mustard color mm -hmm. the bumblebee is too bright very bright so is the other sunshine's too bright we don't have that Not color sunshine. we just have bumblebee yeah. and ink Oh, that's right. So, yep, yep. Um, I just started with the bumblebee and slowly added that orange peel. And I think, what do you think? It's pretty close. I think you're very close to that, yeah. And when on TV, it looks a little off, but yeah, in but, person. Yeah. We'd like to say hello to C. Gail Baker. She is new Ooh. to this. Never watched her to chalk a tour, though. Thank you for watching. Yes. All right. So, we are going to do... I have already said or uh, papaya out of the, we have papaya, let me move the shirt out of here. So we have papaya as one of our colors. Mm -hmm. And then we have this color. Once again, that was made with, we zoom in just a I little, sure can. Um, with yellow or bumblebee and orange peel mixed together. And then I'm gonna do a little bit of couture teal. Then the next color I wanted, I wanted more of uh, a uh, oceany blue, almost like our colonial blue. So Cadet was too dark and Ocean Mist was too light. So what I did is I started with Ocean Mist and kept adding some Cadet to get to that color. Ooh, pretty. So you can see 
It's definitely lighter than Ocean Mist in the navy, but this way we get that really nice oceany kind of color, which I love. Now the last color I really had fun with, I wanted um, a almost wild line. For those of you who know um, our Invo colors, we have this color, which is wild line, but I don't have that in ink. Um, and Eucalyptus is too muted. Um, so I wanted something a little different. So what I did is I started with a little bit of meadow and I kept adding bumblebee. And let me go ahead. Can you zoom out a little bit? I can. And then um, I kept adding bumblebee until I got to this color right there. Oh, there you go. So we're going to go ahead and stir these. I added a little bit of water so they didn't dry out. But look at that bright green mm -hmm. so it is just so so basically once again i just started with that really dark um well it's not dark but meadow and just keep adding a little bit of bumblebee until you get to that color yes and you get that nice bright green sherry says that blue looks like it's something that we've had we got from jock a year or so a year or two ago yeah. yeah, my inspiration for it was really this color. Yeah, it looks like I wanted it to match Colonial Blue. Um, Colonial Blue is a little darker, darker, but, but that's okay. I, think I like work. that one better. And then this way, um, I know a lot of people are using like Couture Coral, but I wanted this to be more um, retro kind of looks. So hmm. that's what I went with. Hello, Rainbow. All right. So what we're gonna do is I am going to move all of these inks off to the side. And we just want to make sure when doing this, uh, you want to put on an apron. Oh, you yeah. just want to constantly check your fingers. I always have a baby wipe ready to go. Um, I check the consistency of everything. And then we are going to grab an ink mat. Yes. So let's go ahead. I'm going to grab an ink mat and put it in here. So the ink mat serves a couple of purposes. Number one, it's going to serve the purpose of um, keeping your shirt in place so it doesn't shift, but it's also giving us a barrier in between. The ink goes right through fabrics. Yeah. Unless it's a super thick fabric, like a like a canvas, it usually won't, but this thinner stuff, it will. Yeah. Now, if you don't have an ink mat, you can use like a Cricut mat, a Silhouette mat, you can use cardboard box. Careful. Two people does help. <laughs> I'll tell you. But if you don't, you can get it. Melissa Garcia says she bought uh, her grandson one of these. The oh, Gordon really? And Arsville t-shirt. That would be great. Take a picture and send it to us. I'd love to see it. They released G.I. Joe today. Yeah, I know. G.I. Joe came. G.I. Joe. Brand, uh, Best is Brandy says they're expecting the uh, color of the month to sell out today. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, get it now. Get it while you can. Jennifer got her truck letter letterboard. She loves it. As you can see, ours behind us. Do they plan on bringing uh, Chalkon live again? I think so. So basically, um, what we were told is uh, it was at Orlando this year, mm -hmm. and they had in order to do it, they basically are saying like we have to, you know, basically sell so much hotel rooms, and if we if they don't, they're still on the hook for them. And they just were afraid that they weren't going to be able to sell that many hotels. So that's the reason it got canceled. Yeah. All right. So what we're going to do is go in the center here. Now I am a, there's so many people that do different things. I just tend to usually from the top of this, I like about four fingers to each his own, mm -hmm. but that's what I like. Hi, Stephanie. And then I always have Sean double check me, make sure I'm not crooky. Crooky. That's a little too low. Now, normally I always tell people to fuzz their transfers, but if you're doing it on a shirt, there's really no need. Yeah. We are doing well, Rainbow. Thank you for asking. Everybody's doing good. Cece had her yearly checkup. She did very nice. They said there's she's about five pounds overweight though. <laughs> That's okay. And tartar on her teeth, which we'll have to do some more. Pressure. Will you check to make sure I'm not? You bet. That looks good. All right. Okay. 
Leslie says, what was the thing you showed before the notebook? Was it the cutout? Yeah, it's the cutout that actually matches this. Yeah, so it's the cut, it's the, um, here, I'll grab it real quick so you can see it again. So this is the cutout for this. Here comes the papaya. Now you might see me at, every once in a while just lifting it up and placing it back down. Um, ink does, we do have a little bit more wiggle room with ink, but still it can dry and pull up. So you can always um, add water. Uh, let's see, that came with those, for those who are designers. What? The cutout. The, if you're a leader, I think it was Mentor and Above, maybe? Mentor and Above. Hi, Beth, from Sandpoint. So I'm going to start with the catch at the top and pull it up and let it dry a little bit so I don't let it dry too much. We actually have a few people out there that are love our ink so much is that that's pretty much all they use is ink, which is great for them. I was wearing a t-shirt um, today on one of, you know, the outdoors ones that had the kind of like the moon and the, and the mountains and the trees. I forgot we did that and it turned out pretty good. Melissa, this is the RSVLT, one of the Star Wars ones. This one's got all the, some of the original etchings and drawings from the original um, Star Wars. So it's very cool to watch. Let's see. Now, when I pull this up, if I do have, uh, let's say, a part that dried and it pulls up with it, no problem. We'll just push it back down, add a little bit more ink. So you can take your time with ink. Um, I think the part that people get freaked out on is if they make a mistake or something. Um, but for the most part, I know chalk is forgiving, but ink is, uh, you have a little bit more time. Shannon says, ink is my favorite as well as I made lots of shirts and baby onesies for friends and expecting babies. That's very cool. Hello, I'm assuming that's Gail or Gailey. I need to fix that. So we got the top done. I'm just gonna grab my hair dryer a little bit yeah, here. Ready? Here it comes. And then we're just going to lay this back down. We're not too worried about the top. We just want to make sure we want to watch our fingers when we do it. There is a ripple. A wrinkle? Yeah, that was good. Well, it's not going to line up perfect, but um... I usually use chalk tour tote bags for friends. I'm making my July 4th t-shirt soon. Love the ink. There we go. I do too. I like watching Ken paint. It's relaxing. <laughs> well, it's relaxing for some, right? All right. So we're just going to continue our colors down here. Oh, I'm going to... Oh, you get the inspiration. Sean, not everything needs to be public. Jeez. Mm -hmm. My angle, I can see that was still popping up. From Kentucky. Gail's from Kentucky. Mm, 
For those who aren't sure what's going on, he's using the multi-tool, the, the non-hockey end. It, it too is very flexible and you, it works great as a small little squeegee. When you're trying to get into those tight, small spaces. Oh, thanks, Jennifer. She says, could watch these guys, oops, where'd I go? Could watch these guys all day, so creative. And they make a fabulous team. They bring me joy. Thanks, Jennifer. Okay. I'm gonna do the W in teal. Uh, Rainbow, what usually is, is of, when you're using ink, you want to heat set it. So we're, you can use a heat press or a, a Cricut heat press or something like that. Once you heat press it, it becomes permanent in the uh, fabric and then you can uh, wash it, not a problem. You can let it, some people let it dry for 24 hours before they do anything. Um, you can use the heat press right after you're done. Um, I like to do it like we did in the beginning there, just do a little bit of a hair dryer heat um, just to kind of get the wetness away from it. Uh, Cause sometimes if you put it straight on it, because you use a uh, parchment paper, some of that ink will come right up on the other side and you don't want it. This way you have a possibility of transferring ink where you don't want it. I love stuff like this. I crap, but I have never done a t-shirt. That's what's great about the ink gale is that paste is great for surfaces and whatnot. And then ink is great for textiles. You can use paste on textiles if you're gonna like hang it up or never be worn and never to be washed. It can be on there. And then you can actually use some stuff to kind of like protect it if you wanted to. Jennifer says she likes to uh, let it dry overnight before the Cricut Easy Press. Yeah, there's other people that do that as well. And yes, these are called ring shirts. Ringer, ringer shirts. That's what it is. Yep. And Darlene says, I just bought a bunch of white and gray camo shirts. I can't wait to get them because I love to ink too. And I think for the wave, I'm going to do this other blue I had made up. Kenny has a great eye for color. Got a little bit of ink on here, but that's what's nice is if you catch it in time. Just like that. Okay, we're gonna lift it up. Checking my fingers here. And if we missed any spots. I need your help, Sean. Yep. It's punching. Now this one does have what they call the um, what's the word? This, this, the what? It's got like little specks. It got little specks. So you'll see little specks of white, which is totally fine because that is in the transfer itself. So just, so if you miss a couple, it won't matter. So I'm going to kind of use the hair dryer a little bit just to get this going, kind of get the moisture out of it. So yes, you can definitely uh, use ink on um, glass, put it in the oven, cold oven, 350 for, uh, what was it, 30 minutes and just let it cool on its own, leave it in there. Um, if you happen to have ceramic mugs and whatnot, you can use the Cricut mug thing too, it works. Okay, I do have a little spot I want to fix. Excuse me, John. So this is part of our tool set. It comes with this little nice, very, very um, compact squeegee. So there's a little bit on the C here that I'm just going to hit to complete. Love the color combo, it says. Is this Dixie Bell paint? No, this is Chalk Couture ink. 
Okay, and then over here, I hit a little bit of my blue on that green, and I want to fix that. So I'm actually just going to grab our other paintbrush. Now, if he was, if you were doing a, an ombre, that would be perfect. It would have been, yep. Like that. Like that. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna clean up gonna my inks it. over here, and he's gonna set that. I'm gonna hair dry it just a little bit first, especially on the part he just touched. enough and I'm gonna very slowly they literally have couches out there they have everything can you move the camera uh, oh she woke up she was sleeping and she just had the little ball hanging out of her mouth because <laughs> she is a ball addict all right, all all right. right. want to help me with this sure it does it, it is nice to have two people to do this but you can do it with one so you just want to take this out mm -hmm. um, because we are going to press it. I'm going to turn on my easy press here. Yep. And I set mine at 305 for uh, 30. In about 30 seconds And then first. we'll move it around. Um, and just you want to make sure when you're doing this to just be careful. Because sometimes like just now, as you saw, that that's why Sean will hit it with that heat. The hair dryer because it can fold in on itself and you can get ink different stuff but that color combo turned out good it did really doesn't that nice. look good i love it i love it ken, ken could do his own t-shirt business i know right <laughs> so i'm using a, a very well used mat <laughs> will you be sharing the conference highlights of course of course I never put it inside. Oh, you don't? Mm -mm. Well, I guess we. I guess I don't have to. No. All right. So as soon as that gets uh, up to par here, we're almost there. I had it on earlier, but so it shouldn't take as long. Three hundred and five degrees. I've heard about Dixie Bell Rainbow. I have not. Yeah, we have lots of. See if I can f see if I can do this. Hold on. Uh, is it six? Nope. There they are. That's all our Dixie Bell. All that, all that is all Dixie Bell paints. All of that. Ooh. So for those who have, know we do freeze dried candy. So this is a freeze dried Jolly Ranch or not Jolly Ranch. Um, Laffy Taffy. Laffy but Taffy. It's the long bar. The long bars. It's different than the small ones. It's they puff up so. And they dry differently. They dry more, uh, more lighter, crunchier. Or the other ones are kind of a hard crunch, but these are, and this is watermelon. The, uh, They're like I, just so much bigger. Mm. And we're yeah. testing a whole bunch of other stuff. Look how big that is. Whoop, wrong button. Is that watermelon or strawberry? Watermelon. Very lightweight. All right, it is at its point. Put on that parchment and here we go yeah parchment paper you do want to be careful you want to flip it every so often because if your ink is super wet yeah and we'll show you what it's going to look like now i brought out the big one the uh, 12 by 10 so i just i don't have to go anywhere so we're going to do 30 seconds and everyone will ask how long do you do it or how do you know it's done so for us it's a feel thing mm -hmm. so 
when you touch wet ink, it's very tacky. It's got a glue, sticky feel. You want to get to a nice, smooth feel. Yeah, I get to a point where it's almost rubbery. Mm -hmm. And then I know we're getting close. Are we uh, done with these, you think? Yeah. I want to be careful not to let it stay on too long. You'll get too hot and burn, of course. All right, I'm gonna pull it up. Now, if you look, I'm looking. So there is absolutely no ink on this. If I had ink on this side that I just flipped over, you, you have to move it around, get rid of it or whatever, because once you move it and you do it again, it's going to get on your shirt somewhere. So this is pretty thin. I won't gonna have, this is really good. I mean, just a couple spots, not much. Has a slight, like I said, kind of like a rubbery feel. So I'm gonna do just a couple more seconds here, probably another 30 seconds, and this is done. I think because it's such a thin, thin um, fabric, it's drying very quickly. I never want to leave a <laughs> ink mat <laughs> when you're doing this, you'll melt it. Cece, what are you doing? We did not put any parchment on the inside. What are you doing, Cece? Okay. Oh, sorry. No, you're fine. You could put parchment if you think it's going to go through, but we don't think it's going to. Nice and smooth. It is, is done. It done. Yeah, it's done. Nice. Okay, go try it on front. All right, I'll be right back. I'll change shirts. You can't change here. I'm not gonna show you my nakedness. Are you kidding me? Maybe people want to see your nakedness. No, I don't want to see my nakedness. I had, you know, six pack and. Why do I have to see your nakedness? nakedness? You don't have to look if you don't want to. You make me look. It's very sad. <laughs> you make me look. That's why I have my vision so bad, it scars me. Oh my goodness, Sean. Every time I go to the optometrist, they're like, your vision's getting worse, I said, because Sean keeps getting naked. And my eyes go, no! You stop it right now. Oh, that looks so good! Ready? Yes! Here we go. Oh, look at that! That looks so good! Nice. Here, I'll do a little zoom in. See, don't you want one now? Mm-hmm. He didn't want one. I was like, Sean, do you want me to make you one? He was like, nobody's going to see it. But look how cute it is. Yeah. Those colors are so good. I really do like those colors. Gua uh, so you did guava? No, no, no. It, or, papaya. Papaya. And then I mixed. The next one is orange peel and um, bumblebee. Yeah. Couture teal. Then I did ocean, mix, ocean mist and cadet. And then the last one I did meadow mixed with bumblebee. Yeah. Oh, that looks so good. I it love did, it. It did not go all the way through. You can see it. It did go through, but it never... It didn't go through to the back. It didn't go through, it didn't go through right, to the other Sean, side. They don't believe you. Hey, not there. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. What are you that looks on? so good. Rainbow, rainbow freeze-dried watermelon towel. Yeah, amazing. Sean brings out the big... <laughs> I'm trying to find... There is a Laffy Taffy that has Pop Rocks on it. It's called Sparkle Cherry. Can't find it, but that would be fun. And I can't find, believe me, I have looked at every store for the American Mix Skittles. They usually always have them out this time of year, and I can't Never. find them. None. It's very sad. So, because that was going to be our replacement for Bright Side, because we're almost out of Bright Side. I don't know what we're going to do. We're testing right now, now and laters, Starbursts. Uh, the Tootsie Roll. To flavor Tootsie, Tootsie Rolls. Rolls. Uh, lifesavers and trolley and gummy yeah, worms. gummy worms. So we'll see how those do. I don't personally. I don't think the tr I don't think the gummy worms are gonna work because we tried something similar to that, and it, two hours isn't long enough. A lot of people are saying six hours for gummy things, but we'll see. We never know. Maybe trolleys is different. We didn't use trolleys. He doesn't have faith. He doesn't believe the impossible can be done. Sorry, I just saw this message. I miss you guys. Oh, um, cool. Saves time. I always put parchment paper on inside out. Yeah, I've heard the only time I put parchment paper on the backside 
I'll do it for a couple of reasons. If I'm doing black ink and it is a thick layer of black ink and it's a thinner material, oh, I is. will sometimes yeah. do that. Yeah. Um, but very rarely will I do anything else. I know all my pancreas, sugar, sugar everywhere. Sugar, sugar everywhere, yeah. Um, I love flavored Tootsie Rolls, too, so we'll see what happens there. I think they'll stuff. do great. I think they'll do really good. They're, Me, too. We saw them, like, 20 minutes in, and they already started puffing. Yeah, but... And you said you did hard lifesavers? Mm-hmm. Mm. We'll see how those do. Yeah, those... Any hard candy usually needs a lot of heat to get them soft, and then the vacuum makes them puff up. Yeah. So we'll so. see how it works. So I'm looking forward to ChalkCon. We will be back Thursday to do a project. That's the night before ChalkCon. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll see you guys then. But I am looking forward to this catalog, but I heard the next catalog. So I heard this catalog's good, but the catalog after that I heard is amazing. amazing. Well, let's hope. So we need some amazing stuff. I'm excited. Um, again, I, he said 10 o'clock on Friday. That's 10 Mountain time, by the way. I know so, I have to get up early. So 9 Pacific, 10, then 11 Central, mm -hmm. 12 Pacific, or 12 Eastern. Yep. So thanks for joining us, guys, yeah. tonight. If you have any questions, reach out to us, and we will see everyone on Thursday. Well, great to see all y'all. Bye, everyone.